Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, Greg here with Fox Family Heating and Air. And today I wanted to talk about how did I get my first job in HVAC? One of those questions that I kind of see uh, in the question and answers down below the videos a lot is how, how did you get your first job? And uh, I thought that was a really good question. I got my first job uh, in HVAC. I basically quit an entire other industry. I was a bartender for 15 years, uh, basically from like the age of like 20 to 35. I was in the bartending and, you know, restaurant industry. And, uh, you know, by the time I got to 35, I was kind of over it. You know, I was, I was in a job where I wasn't getting any benefits. I had to rely on my wife for, for benefit, medical benefits and stuff like that, let alone a 401k, um, this or that, you know, just, I don't know, kind of real people, um, uh, benefits. When I, when I left that industry, I was done with it. I was ready to start something new. I wanted a real job. And I grew up with my father who was a civil engineer for the army. He did uh, HVAC, industrial HVAC uh, on an army base. So he was always working on the big, big uh, buildings all around the base, uh, the dorms. And, and uh, you know, the soldiers were always so appreciative of him when he was able to get them up and running. But I got to hang out with my dad uh, on the weekends because I would go to his house on the weekends and so uh, in the rain, the snow, the sleet, and the mud, the heat and everything, it didn't, you know, it didn't matter. It's just sometimes my dad had to work overtime and, uh, and so I got to go carry his bag for him and that was, that was a good time. So that was my, like, my first introduction to HVAC. That's why HVAC appealed to me by the time I thir turned 35 because that's what my father did. So a lot of you guys are probably like that as well. I mean, are there any of you guys that are in the field now who are in the field because your father introduced it to you or your mother, you know, possibly your mother introduced it to you and that's what they did. And, and now that's what you do. So, I mean, that's kind of how it turned out for me ultimately. And I'm really glad it did. Um, but to get that job, I had to impress somebody cause it wasn't, I, it wasn't going to be my dad. My dad passed away when I was in high school. So, <laughs> Um, I needed to um, impress somebody. I was actually talking to my aunt and they were in the electrical contracting business at the time and she had mentioned, hey, why don't you go over and put your application in there? Uh, you know, maybe start at the bottom and work your way up. And I've always had that, I've always had that persona, like, man, just give me a job, I will start from the bottom and I will work my way up. I will prove it that I'm worth it, you know. You know, I, I didn't actually go and apply with them. I just kind of sat on it for a few days and it was the Christmas holidays too. So I remember I remember maybe the day after Christmas or the day before Christmas, it was right around Christmas time that I saw a, a commercial come on for a job fair. They're looking for, you know, service technicians, installers and maintenance technicians. So, um, so that piqued my curiosity and I got my application uh, filled out and got my resume up and done real quick. And they had this um, job fair at a Holiday Inn down in Elk Grove. And it was a job fair where basically you come in and there was about, there's probably about 20, 20 to 25 of us in there. And they made us feel comfortable. They just told us about the company and you know the, uh, the different uh, jobs they had there, installers, service technicians, maintenance technicians, and everybody in that room. I actually was privileged to be sitting in the back of the room. I was in the back right of the room and they started it in the front left of the room. So by the time it got back to me, I had already heard everybody uh, and their little spiel about how awesome they are and what job they want. It was so funny because uh, it just seemed like uh, everybody wanted the service job. Like everybody wants the service job. Nobody wanted the install job. So, and I was just kind of catching on to that. And I was like, you know, by the time it came back around to me, you know, I, I, uh, introduced myself, let them know that I was in the air force. Um, also let them know about my dad being uh, an HVAC technician as well. And, um, and I told him that I wanted to be an install tech. I wanted to be an install helper. That's what I wanted to do. And, uh, and I was totally willing to work my way up, whatever I got to do. 
And um, so a couple days later, they gave me a call and said, hey, uh, we saw you at the job fair. We'd love to come in and have an interview with you. Got to go sit in on interview. Pretty standard interview, nothing really tricky about it. Just, they just, what they want to know in the in the interview is you know, what kind of person you are. You know, like are you going to be on time? Do you have dependable transportation to work? Are you drug free? Um, and are you kind? Are you polite? Are you gentle with people? <laughs> uh, at least in the residential market, you got to be that way. So, um, so that was kind of. They're just kind of trying to, they're asking you questions about your experience and everything, but what they're really doing is they're trying to figure out like how you speak. Do you look people in the eye? Do you, how do you just how do you compose yourself? And it, is this the type of person that we want working for us? And at the same time, you should be doing your due diligence in that interview saying, is this the company that I want to work for? So I completed my uh, interview with those guys and I felt really good. Uh, I wore, what I wore to the interview uh, was some, um, I basically wore like kind of, you know, a little bit better than what you'll be wearing on the job. So, and if you're, you know, a lot of guys will be wearing like jeans or slacks or cargo pants or something like that with a button up shirt. That's probably a good thing to go into the uh, job looking like. Um, some people go in, you know, Keith said he went in with a, with a, you know, shirt and tie and everything. So I think I went in with a polo shirt and a nice set of blue, like a nice, nice set of blue jeans and some, uh, black boots, like some black steel toe boots. Um, so I felt like I looked pretty sharp. I was also clean shaven and, and, um, had my hair tight and everything. So, um, so I looked good when I went in there. I wasn't slovenly at all. I, and, and I took a shower before the interview, all that good stuff. I mean, I know it sounds a little redundant, but but just when you're new and you're trying to get the job, it's funny to see how some of them have dressed and how casual they are. Like, don't be too casual because, I don't know, I mean, that's just not, maybe not professional enough. But you don't have to be over the top either. So that, I mean, uh, like I said, just something in the middle. So they called me a couple days later and uh, gave me a start date. You know, they told me, hey, we'd love to have you guys, we'd love to have you um, come work for us, be an install helper. Oh my God, I was making, they started me off by the way at $10 an hour. So I started off at $10 an hour and then once you get your 410 refrigerant certification and your EPA certification, then you got a dollar raise on that. So I happened to get a dollar, at my time I happened to get a dollar raise for both of them. So. Pretty quickly, I boosted up to $12 an hour. And then once I got into install, I actually moved up pretty quickly. Like uh, I got up to about, I don't know, I think it was like $20 an hour. It was, still isn't great, but I mean, it was, it was what I had to work with. And um, for me, it was just fine. I'll tell you a little bit more about that on another video. I don't really want to go into it too much on this one, but I do think that that's a good conversation to have with you guys. But yeah, once I got on, then I just had to, you know, just be cool, you know, just learn to collaborate and be nice and friendly and compatible with people and uh, and also carry out the you know the duties that you're supposed to the 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 business model of the company and how they want you to act and you just keep doing that day in day out day in day out it's not a bad thing so right now I wanted to introduce a couple other guys um, actually three of the guys are uh, from my team and they were willing to share um, a little insight on how they got their first job and just kind of how it all came to fruition. All right, buddy. What's your name? Justin. Where Justin. you work at? Fox Family Heating and Air Conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> nice. How long have you been in the industry? Um, uh, started in 2010. Nice. 2009, so going on nine, nine years. Oh, wow. Almost. So the question is, how did you go about getting your first job in HVAC? In the industry? Uh, I got kind of lucky, actually. So I was, uh, I was pretty young, 21, 21 years old. Uh, I was managing a Subway sandwich shop. And so I probably got, uh, I, yeah, I got lucky. A service technician came in for a local company, made him a sandwich, asked him if I was looking for a new career. Um, 
and we started talking about his job and he said just to go out on a limb and apply. I applied with no knowledge um, and I guess uh, a blessing in disguise, I, I, I went and applied and uh, I did get hired. So um, it's been history ever since. I enjoyed it and I've hated it several times. I've tried to get out before and it sucked me right back in. And so uh, that's kind of the way, kind of the way the industry is. So, but I love what I do, and I and I enjoy it. So, so my name is Keith. I work here at Fox Family Heating and Air. Um, I've been doing HVAC for four years now. Um, totally love it. Uh, I started. I got into HVAC. I was actually funny story. I was working at a grocery store at the time and going to college. And one of the, our local customers worked at a, a different HVAC company. And he would come in every day and he would tell me, hey, we're hiring, we're hiring, come work for us, you know. And at the time, I didn't care for it because it was a full-time position. I was going to school. They wouldn't work with my, my school schedule. Um, and then when summer came around, I decided to give it a go, and I kind of took off from there and unfortunately quit school. But, hey, um, <laughs> you know, got all the training in-house that I needed for it and, uh, uh you know, started a career out of it, and I think it's the best decision I ever made. I'm not super happy, totally content with how everything's going. So, when you started out, were you uh, like a, a full on service tech or like a full on installer, or started, what would you do? I stopped maintenance only. Um, I was actually supposed to be, I applied for um, install helper um, when I put turned in my application, and um, they decided, hey, you know what, let's put you in maintenance, and then you know let you learn all, how the equipment works and all that since you're you know hands-on uh, I definitely think going to school for you know electrical engineering definitely helped out and knowing you know control boards capacitors how everything's supposed to work and run and, and all that fun stuff so um, yeah. right on thanks Keith awesome <laughs> my name is Aaron McCoy I work for Fox Family Heating and Air Conditioning I have been doing HVAC since I can remember probably since I was about 12 years old my dad uh, had an appliance repair business and pretty much would show me the ropes how to do little repairs like an igniter here or a, a blower motor there and then got into refrigeration when I was a little bit older when he knew I was capable of that uh, which parlayed really nicely into HVAC. So the way I found Fox Family was uh, found the ad on Craigslist that uh, Greg had put out there. So I responded to the Craigslist ad uh, interviewed with Greg, met him face to face. He just seemed like the kind of person that I knew that I could work for. So you can see that, you know, guys like Keith and Justin kind of just like ran into somebody who was in the field and was suggesting that they, um, you know, get into HVAC and started that company. And then you get a guy like Aaron who you know, and kind of like myself, grew up with a dad who did it, you know, did a family member who did it, and you got to carry around the tools and stuff and help out change, you know, HSIs and capacitors and things like that. And then later on when Aaron was looking to get out of a certain career field and into, you know, back into HVAC, he literally just went on to Craigslist and we happened to find each other. So it's pretty interesting to see the, the many different ways that people in, end up getting jobs, but it all comes down to, you know, do you know somebody or are you willing to apply yourself so much that you're gonna go get hired by this company and you're gonna do whatever it takes to, uh, you know, get a job and, and work for them. I will sweep floors. I will sweep floors for eight hours a day five days a week if that's what you want me to do so that someday I will become an HVAC technician you know there's nothing wrong with saying that I will I will do whatever it takes I will clean those floors I will take out your trash just to show you you know how dependable I can be so uh, real quickly I want to just address the issue of HVAC school and whether it's actually required to get a job in HVAC. Um, you know, in some states, maybe it is, but I know in my uh, state of California, it's not required. Um, but, you know, it, it does help. I think if you ask any HVAC technician right now, they would say, um, you know, they would say, yeah, it would definitely help. But they also would say that people that come out of HVAC school a lot of times they end up 
coming out super cocky and thinking that they know everything now when they, you know, you really have just kind of skimmed the surface because um, once you get out in the field, then you'll, you're actually going to end up, um, you know, hands on in the field, in nitty gritty, uh, outside of a, uh, you know, like a school setting or like a sterile setting. You're actually going to be in the insulation doing, you know, putting the duct on and, and, and that's why on the field it's a little bit harder but i have heard from existing hvac technicians that they see a lot of people who come out of te um, tech school and they're just like super confident maybe a little too cocky so i would say still yes go to school do your thing but um but at the same time when you come out and get your job i would completely humble yourself and start down low at the bottom or wherever you can get in. I mean, if you can get a service job, great, great. I'm just saying for those people who can't, you know, I got, I went to school, I paid like $15,000 for school. But um, I, I even, I took an online course. Um, I took a, it was called like Ashworth College. And I took a, a little online study course. So I was able to put that down on my application that I took it and I was able to take it in the convenience of my home at any time I wanted to. Uh, so so <clears throat> that probably did help w with my chances of getting hired. All right, guys, well, thanks so much for watching this video on how did I get my first job in HVAC. Um, I personally have found it a sincerely rewarding career. And you know, like, look at me now. I mean, I now I have my own company. So, I mean, and it started from just applying and, and putting yourself out there and saying, I will humble myself. I will reduce myself to the lowest level for you so that I can work my way up, you know, and, 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 and that's how life works. You know, I mean, that's, that's good stuff right there. At least that's that way. That's the way I was taught. So, okay guys. Well, thanks so much again. We'll talk to you later. Bye. You're watching Fox family heating and air conditioning. Don't forget to subscribe and check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.